Hi guys, welcome back to my studio. I'm so glad you're joining me today. If you're new here, um, please consider subscribing. Uh, this is acrylic painting with Julie E. And that is me. Um, I'm really considering changing the name of my channel to just art with Julie E. Because I love all different forms of media. Um, I like playing and experimenting with all different types of products. As you can see here, um, we're playing with alcohol inks. Um, life got really lifey <laughs> over this past week. Um, I'm not sick. I'm not hurting a lot or anything like that. But it was just a really busy, super exhausting kind of week. So... Um, we're going with the alcohol inks today because I just love the convenience of them. Not only do you get gorgeous, gorgeous artwork, but you get a convenience factor that is hard to explain. And um, you take out a sheet of paper, you grab a bottle of ink, um, you have some 99 point something percent alcohol and you open your doors and your windows get some ventilation going through put on your mask put on your gloves and just start putting drops down on the paper and blowing them around and seeing what happens and it's just it's a joy and the cleanup the cleanup you just you can leave it you can walk away from your alcohol inks too that's another nice thing the phone rings you can stop where you're at go answer the phone you know take those emergency calls um, <laughs> and um, then just come back to it your ink will be dry but you just add a little bit more alcohol and it reactivates your ink right away is I can't say enough about inks I just I love them I absolutely love them and so yeah that's what I've been working with and doing most of almost all week just because it is just so convenient and um, not to mention I love the beautiful effects that you can get with alcohol inks too here I am using just two colors I'm using um, pinata mantia black and then um, in the bottle, in the one bottle with the yellow cap, that is a metallic mixture. It is um, um, pinata rich gold mixed with ranger ink alloy um, in statue. And then there's alcohol added to that. I do that in a bottle just for the fact that I find the metallics move so much better within the ink. They don't just float on top in a disc and then break apart as you move them. Um, they kind of break apart and they blend in with the ink and shimmer through it and then create a really pretty beading along some of your harder edges and stuff. And I really like that effect and that look. So that's why my metallics, my one metallic uh, combination is in um, the one bottle. The other bottle with the orange cap that you see towards the top of the screen that is just 99.5% alcohol, I believe. And um, yeah, so that's all we've got. Those are the only ingredients it took to make this really cool paint painting. Um, yeah, alcohol ink painting. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, I just, I really like it. Um, I'm gonna put on some music here for you guys shortly and just let it play through some of this is at normal speed some of this is at double speed i think when you see the hand puffer um come into play that's at um, four times speed i'll have little cards letting you know which speeds are what and everything but um yeah um this is a revlon um style wand um, it comes with two different attachment brush attachments, but you just leave the brush attachment off and it blows the air around so you can manipulate um, your little pools of 
ink and alcohol a little bit better. So, and then um, I was also just uh, using a silicone brush to kind of break up some little particles of the ink that had kind of clustered together. Um, so, and those clean off really nice and easy with just a little bit of alcohol. I am using nine by 12 Yupo paper in a medium weight. And you'll see later on in the video that this is really easy to clean. Just a little bit of paper towel with some of your alcohol on it and any drips or areas even of um, your alcohol ink that you don't care for. You can just really easily wipe away with minimal staining at all. Um, just depending upon the ink and the color that you're using. It, it's really nice. So yeah, you can practice over and over on this stuff and um, but if you get something that you really really like it's really easy to seal just a couple coats of Kramar varnish and then a couple coats of UV gloss um, spray and it's all nice and sealed and then it's really easy to mat too uh, they have different matting kits um, come with everything you need um, on Amazon uh, so yeah, if you do this, go ahead and look for those. And um, so, okay, enough talking from me. <laughs> Let's just watch what happens and listen to some music. I really love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Much loves, many hugs.
like a family tree. Part of you and part of me. And if we should separate, go your own way. I won't wait. Bring the funk back. Okay, guys, right here is where I ended up stopping. And if you know anything about alcohol inks, though, it's never finished until it's sealed. I can always go back in and change this, embellish it, do whatever. Um, if you'd like to see me embellish this, then seal it and then mount it on the mat boards and how the whole process is done, let me know in the comments and I will go ahead and I will videotape all of that for you and post it up here on the UBTube. Um, but yeah, until next time, thanks for stopping by. Loves and hugs you all. Bye.